Hello friends, today we'll learn about potential and kinetic energy. Very good! You're riding your bicycle in the park. You need energy to ride the bicycle, walk, run, or do any work, which is why the ability to do any work is called energy. It cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be altered. Whenever you store or use energy, you deal with potential energy or kinetic energy. Potential and kinetic energy are two forms of energy that can be transformed into each other. Let's learn about potential and kinetic energy. Potential energy. The energy which is stored in an object due to its position is the potential energy. When you sit at the top of a slide, you contain potential energy. Kinetic energy. The energy that a moving object has due to its motion is the kinetic energy. As you begin to slide, the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. Potential energy is not transferable. It depends on the height or distance and mass of the object. Kinetic energy is dependent on an object's speed or velocity and mass and this energy can be transferred from one moving object to another. Ah, you look confused. Let me make it easier for you. Suppose you have a hammer in your hand. When you raise the hammer higher, it'll have potential energy. But as you drop the hammer downwards to bang on the table's surface, it'll have kinetic energy. There are three things. First, the raised hammer has more potential energy, since it has the potential to go higher or lower. Second, when you hit the hammer on the table, the stored potential energy is changed to kinetic energy as the hammer is falling. Third, as soon as the hammer hits the table, the energy changes its form. The stationary hammer then has stored energy in the form of potential energy. You have seen that energy is neither destroyed nor lost during the whole task. It's only altered from one form to another, providing the law of conservation of energy. So you can say that potential energy is position relative and kinetic energy is motion relative. Potential energy transforms into kinetic energy and kinetic energy converts into potential energy and then back again. It's a never-ending cycle. Look carefully. Both are measured in joules, named after the English mathematician James Prescott Joule, born in Salford, Lancashire. Potential energy depends on the force acting on the two objects. Formula is potential energy equals mgh. m is the mass measured in kilograms. G is the acceleration due to gravity. H is the height in meters. Kinetic energy is directly proportional to an object's mass and the square of its velocity. Formula is kinetic energy equals one half m v to the second. M is the mass measured in kilograms. V is the velocity of meters per second. Now, you know a lot about the potential and kinetic energy. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.